1.6 billion pounds in 2017 in R&D. That's our R&D spend as a company today. We source over 12 billion US every year in terms of global sourcing. Um, so look at all of those kinds of opportunities as well. Don't just limit it to manufacturing offsets. And I absolutely agree with Frank. Offsets should not be a panacea to developing and to investing in uh, the kind of technologies, the kind of skills, and the kind of cost advantage that we will be looking at. We've been partnering for a lot of reasons. Offset is not one of them. Offset happens to be a byproduct. It happens to be a delivery. But we view offsets as an enabler for investment into the country to further what we're doing in Make in India. It is not something that, that forces us to do something. So, so, so let me be clear on that. <coughs> on the second question, the guidelines for strategic partnerships. It's absolutely clear that the country is fo focused on two aspects. One is COT and one is indigenization. So the big question is how will that be measured? How are you measuring TOT and how are you incentivizing companies to come and do indigenization? For that, my colleagues and I believe that there needs to be a departure from the traditional main compliant L1 model. You cannot continue to rely on that and then expect global companies to year after year, decade after decade, bring in some of the most advanced technology capabilities and systems, and then embed, induct, and further build on that in partnership with Indian industry. We need to think about a weighted average. We need to think about uh, looking at a weighted evaluation criteria that the US does uh, a best value system because there's no TOT or sort of indigenization there, so that's somewhat different. But we could come up with a weighted average that looks at technology, that looks at cost, that looks at the level of indigenization. Some would call that L1, T1, I1. We've heard our colleagues in MOD actually refer to it as such. So that kind of thinking needs to start, but there are multiple questions as to how that will be done, that will be implemented, what's the, what's the recommendation, what's the recommended model for doing that, and how will TOT and indigenization actually be measured and further incentivized. Raw materials is a specific concern and that's been raised a lot of time as just one example. And then the last point was on offsets as value. So I want to make clear that offsets should not be viewed as a panacea to further investment in the country. So a couple of things really need to happen and, and we're seeing progress. We're seeing progress with the Secretary DP and others, but please approve the offset credits. Approve the offset credits for claims already submitted, for work that's already been done on our period of performance. Uh, that helps us retire the risk and the liability from our books. It helps us make a case to our leadership and our CEOs that we are doing the right thing in the country for the right reasons, and we're further investing in the Make in India national objectives. The digitization of the offset claims and the overall automation and the digitization of offset management is something that we have long discussed with RW and with Secretary DP. And I believe there's a, there's a fair recognition that that will happen very soon. We've discussed this, of course, with, with <coughs> the NSR and with, and, with, and with MOD leaders, and we hope to have some more avenues to do that with the SEPDP as well. Um, group companies. Allow foreign OEMs, ultimate holding companies, subsidiaries, and associate companies to discharge offsets on behalf of the contracting entity. Again, M777 example. That offset obligation is with one contracting entity in one of our business units. Let the entire group execute offsets. Do the kinds of partnerships which I've outlined with you, with the multiple spectrum of Indian companies. It's a win-win for both countries. I'm able to do more, I'm able to bring more from my entire group uh, in partnership with the Indian companies to execute on behalf of the contracting entity. That needs to happen. Just the last few things, recognition for technology transfer and skill development, because the offset regulations do not offer globally competitive credit for tech transfer and does not recognize skill development. Now, we've been participating in the government's initiatives on scaling in here for a while now. So let's look at ways that we can look at some of those things. Let's look at ways that we can look at the fund that's being created for the MSMEs. I absolutely applaud my Indian colleagues, people like Mr. Kora and others who've been raising this for many years through CII. Uh, let's look at ways that we can provide low-cost finance to MSMEs. The centers in the state really need to incentivize industry uh, with a level of softs, if you will,
to set up the kind of capabilities that they need to provide that globally competitive set of technologies and skills that, that the Pratt mentioned in his, in his earlier comment. And the 